Production Studios of Montclair State University, this is NJTV News with Mary Alice Williams. Back to school very often means back to the doctor. Hospitals in New Jersey are reporting a rise in the number of children being treated for asthma. Nationwide, it accounts for 14 million lost school days, and the cause might very well be environmental. Brianna Venosi reports. Open your mouth and breathe. For kids between the ages of 5 to 18 years old, asthma is the leading cause of hospital stays and school absences. For 7-year-old Aliyah Martinez, it started with a bad cold and severe cough. I didn't know what else to do, so I took her to the emergency room, and that's when she was having problems breathing. That was three years ago. They actually admitted her, and she was staying there for about was it like five days that she had to stay there? And that's when they told us that she was having asthma reactions. What happens during asthma? Airways, the breathing tubes, gets red and swollen, and it is hard for the patient to breathe in. Dr. Arkna Singh is the head of pediatric pulmonology and cystic fibrosis at St. Peter's University Hospital in New Brunswick. She says it's very common to see asthma start around the preschool age because kids are most vulnerable for viral illnesses. The body tries to react to the viral illness and the body produces certain chemicals that itself react on the lungs and start having difficulty breathing and wheezing. Dr. Singh explains the other most common asthma triggers indoors include pets, dust and dust mites in the home, secondhand smoke, food allergies, and perfume sprays and cleaning products. Outdoors, heavy air pollution, pollen, grass, and ragweed are typically the culprits. Doctors say there are two red flags parents should be aware of, any coughing or difficulty breathing after play and not being able to keep up activities with their peers, and coughing at night, particularly if it wakes them up. Now everything is more stabilized where she wasn't missing too much because back then she was missing like 18 days of school. As is the case for many kids unless they get proper treatment. One is daily control of medication and other one is a rescue medication. For very small children, nebulizers like this one are used first. After that, a daily controller medication is given to prevent attacks and inhalers are used for acute ones. Doctors stress working with the school to create an asthma action plan. I bring the medication to the school, to the nurse with that form, and they keep it there so when she does her activities 20 minutes before, they, she goes down there and she takes the medicine before any activities. When treated correctly and maintained, asthma should have no interference with day-to-day -day routines, but can be life-threatening and doctors here say to seek immediate medical attention if symptoms persist or worsen. In New Brunswick, I'm Brianna Venosi, NJTV News.